my next guest, uh, Rick Scott. He's the governor of this beautiful state of Florida. Governor Scott, thanks very much for coming in. And let me just pick up where Jack left off and read to you what Bob Dole, the Republican presidential, former pre Republican presidential nominee, uh, just like John McCain of four years ago, blasting Newt Gingrich. This is what Bob Dole issued a statement today saying this. If Gingrich is the nominee, it will have an adverse impact on Republican candidates running for county, state, and federal offices. Hardly anyone who served with Newton Congress has endorsed him, and that fact speaks for itself. He was a one-man band who rarely took advice. In my opinion, this is still from Bob Dole, if we want to avoid a sweeping victory by Obama in November, Republicans should nominate Governor Romney as our standard bearer. Uh, what do you think? Uh, are you with Bob Dole on the potential downside of picking Newt Gingrich? Well, let's see, I was not the establishment candidate. I did not get the, I'm a business guy, that this is the first time I ran for office. So uh, I think, you know, this state uh, elected somebody that wasn't an establishment candidate. I got elected on a jobs plan. Uh, I, I think what they ought to talk about, and I hope you'll talk about tonight, uh, is jobs. I mean, what we want in Florida, we want somebody to help our state get back to work. We've had a lot of success this year, this last year. Unemployment dropped 2.1 percent, uh, second fastest in the country. But we need a federal help. We need our, a federal partner, not a help really, a federal partner that's going to think the same way we do. Lower taxes, less regulation, you know, less litigation, and get our state back to work. I know you haven't endorsed anyone yet, uh, and it's getting closer to Tuesday. That's when the Florida primary takes place. But you did say some very nice things the other day about uh, Mitt Romney. Uh, let me play this little clip. It was from a radio show, America's Morning News. I'll play this clip and then we'll discuss. If you're going to go hire somebody, and we're, so we're, we're basically hiring a new president, would you go hire somebody that was successful in business or somebody that was unsuccessful? Mm -hmm. the, the thing that Mitt Romney has going for him, all right, is he was successful in business. He lived the American dream. He said, look, this is the greatest country in the world, and I can, I can, I can go build companies, and that's what he did. So, sounds pretty close to uh, an endorsement. Uh, give me your in uh, interpretation. Well, here, here's what I believe. I believe the candidate that, um, that has the best jobs plan is going to be the candidate that wins. You know, all of these candidates... You know, could, are going to beat uh, President Obama because he unfortunately hasn't been able to turn around our economy. They all bring something different to the table. I think in the end, though, the candidate's going to win if they have, you know, three, five, seven steps to how they're going to turn our economy around. That's what we want in Florida. You know, as, like I said, we've had a lot of success, 140,000 private sector jobs last year, but we need a federal partner. So of these four candidates, and I'm sure you've studied their jobs plans, each one, who do you think has the best plan as you see it right now? I don't think, I don't think they've talked enough about jobs. I think they're, you know, they're, there's way too much attack you know, in this of just talking about somebody's negatives. Ultimately, uh, that doesn't work. You've got to have, you've got to, you've got to give people reason to vote for you. In my case, I said seven steps to 700,000 jobs over seven years, and we're, on tr we're beating that. Uh, right now to do it. So I think they're making a mistake by doing all the attacks. I think they ought to be saying, this is how I'm going to turn around this economy. This is what I'm going to do to get you back to work or make sure you keep your job. That's what I think all of them need to spend more time doing that, and they're not doing it enough. If you look at their websites, if you look at their speeches, uh, Governor, with all due respect, and I have, I've been preparing like crazy. This is the third debate I'm going to be moderating later tonight. They have extensive proposals on how to create jobs, how to improve the economy. Fifty steps here for Mitt Romney. Newt Gingrich has a very, very detailed plan. So does, uh, so does Ron Paul and Rick Santorum. They have very detailed plans, all of them. I'm sure they would tell you that. Have you met with any of these four? Absolutely. But if, Wolf, if you look at it, if you, maybe I don't see all the ads down here, but all the ads I see uh, are negative. Uh, they're not saying these are the three or five or seven things I'm going to do to turn around the federal economy and make sure this is the greatest country to build businesses. We need, instead of attacking the free market, we need to support the free market. That's how we get jobs going. And so that's what they ought to be talking about instead of some of these other things that they're talking about. So I hope tonight, uh, and I know you get to sort of run, the, you're running the show, so I hope tonight that these candidates will talk more about what they're doing to create jobs rather than say, oh, this, is, this person's a negative for these reasons. 
All right, Governor, thanks very much. I know you'll be watching here in Tallahassee, the state capital. Appreciate uh, very much the hospitality we're getting from all the Floridians here uh, have a in Jacksonville. Have a great time. Governor Rick Scott. Thank you very much, sir. We will. Uh,